welcome to Daily Planet. I'm Zaya Tong. And I'm Dan Riskin, and we've got all kinds of odd and sundry items on the show today. From NASA's call to find a new washing machine for the International Space Station to the fastest cell on the planet. We'll even introduce you to an artist who paints underwater. The details, obviously, on Weird Planet. Obviously. But first, we're actually going to kick off today's show with a dream workplace if you're a pyromaniac. We're off to a lab that sets fire to houses on purpose. Yes, Daily Planet dropped in during a test to see just how destructive embers are for homes. So, of course, we call this story Burning Down the House. This is a place where people love to set things on fire. I will admit to being a bit of a pyro. Today, Julie Rochman's setting a whole house on fire. We are actually making, for the first time anywhere in the world, indoors in a controlled environment, ember storms. It's all being done in the name of safety. At this one-of-a-kind facility in Tampa, Florida, The Insurance Institute for Business and Home Safety Research Center was created for the single purpose of trying to identify, evaluate, and promote effective ways to reduce property losses from a variety of natural disasters, including wildfire. Wildfires are becoming more and more of a problem. In 2011, we saw record wildfire losses throughout the Southwest. At one point this spring, Texas was on fire from border to border. There was a wildfire in virtually every county. At this point in the United States, one out of three housing units is actually located where the brush and the trees meet development. Advancing walls of fire can cause damage, but they are not the only threat. The problem when it comes to property protection are the embers or the firebrands that travel on the winds a mile or more beyond the perimeter that the fire services have set up. Those embers will find something to ignite on or near or inside a home and those homes will then burn because there's nobody there to protect them. Julie and her team want to learn how to protect homes from these embers. The best way to do that? Burn one down. But before you can burn it, you have to build it. And this is no dollhouse. The IBHS Research Center is the only facility of its kind on the planet. We're the only place where you can do full-scale one- and two-story building specimens up to about 2,000 square feet, on which we hang different types of siding and roofing and gutter materials. Windows are installed. We put mulch and vegetation around the specimen. So it's not finished on the inside because we're really looking at exterior ignition points. To ignite the fire here, Chief Engineer Tim Reinhold is burning mulch and dowels in a chamber. The biggest challenge was actually in generating the embers and getting the system to work where we had a good dispersion of the embers coming in at the houses. 105 fans will blow hot sparks at the house. The fan blows those embers up through ducts and release it into the wind stream. From there, the wind carries the embers and they attack the building the way the embers would in real world where they're ducted around the building in the swirling motion of the wind. Typically, the most dangerous wildfires are the ones that occur when you've got a fairly strong wind environment blowing the embers, sometimes over complex terrain, 70 or 80 miles an hour. And those are the ones that really the fronts just move like crazy. Everyone's watching where the embers go. What we hope to learn is exactly how different sizes and types of embers catch. So the smaller embers that tend to be blown or drawn into openings, let's just soffits or gable end vents, or the larger embers that will sit on the top of a, an untreated wood shake roof and burn unnoticed until they actually fall through the layers of shake into the home and burn it from the inside out. Today, they're getting some answers. One of the myths that was out there was that you should leave one window open for the fire department to have access to your house. You don't want to do that. If a flame gets up there, a screen is going to melt in a heartbeat, and now you've got a pathway for the embers to come right into your house. It's very important to seal up, keep things out as much as you possibly can. Getting this kind of information is exactly what makes this facility and these kinds of tests important. When you break things, you learn a lot. You learn a lot more from destroying things than you do from when they work well. This is just the beginning. They plan to do a lot more testing in the future. For Julie, it makes being a pyro all worthwhile. Everything that we do here is designed to help home and business owners better protect their property. We want to teach people how to demand better construction, 
how to get safer construction and how to reduce losses so we don't see injuries and deaths and property destruction as a result of wildfire and other natural disasters.